Hi, my name is Wendela Wapenaar and I'd like to briefly tell you about the research findings of a study carried out at the School of Veterinary Medicine and Science in Nottingham. This research summary has an important message for vets and farmers currently injecting dairy cattle in the gluteal region. This region is indicated in the picture on the left by the red oval. In the literature, the sciatic nerve is described as the largest nerve in the body and damage to it can cause pain and paralysis. In the UK, it is well known to not inject beef cattle in this region. However, this area is still commonly used in dairy cattle. Now we wanted to investigate if this practice could lead to sciatic nerve damage. A common clinical presentation of a cow with sciatic nerve damage is shown in the second image. Now firstly, we dissected adult dairy cattle cadavers and discovered that the sciatic nerve is much wider than commonly described in textbooks. As shown in the image on the right, the width ranged between 3.5 and 4.5 and and centimetres and its depth was variable. The shallowest point between the skin surface and the nerve was only 2.5 centimetres. This depth was dependent on the cow's body condition. The superficial position and the size of the nerve further raised our concerns with regard to the potential nerve damage. Our next question was, how likely is it that we inject in close proximity to this nerve? We set up cadaver material as depicted in the images on the right and asked vets, vet students and farmers to inject the cadavers with their needle of choice as if it was a normal cow. The dots on the images are the injection site locations used by all participants. The red line indicates the position of the sciatic nerve. In all cadavers, but in particularly in the low body condition ones, the injection sites were clearly located closely to the sciatic nerve. This is further emphasised by the figure on the left. The position of the sciatic nerve is where the vertical and the horizontal axis cross. Dots along the vertical axis and below the horizontal axis indicate injections straight through the sciatic nerve into the pelvic cavity. The box depicted as high risk indicates all injections within 5 cm of the sciatic nerve. In this experiment, 69% of the injections were in this high risk area. So to summarise, the sciatic nerve in cattle can be up to 4.5 cm wide and the results from our injection experiment clearly indicate a risk of damaging the sciatic nerve when injecting in this region. And this risk appears to increase in cows with a low body condition score. Based on our study findings, we would strongly advise to inject all cattle in the neck where possible. When this is not feasible, and the gluteal region is used as a site for intramuscular injection, then a more lateral location should be chosen. The region between the tuba coxae and the tuba ischium, or the hook bone and the pin bone, has a substantial muscle mass, and there are no underlying neurological structures at risk. A hand width behind the tuba coxae, as indicated in the image, is what we would like to recommend. Thank you very much for listening. More detail can be found in the full paper online or in the printed per version in the vet record. Uh, and I would especially like to thank Rosanna Kirkwood, one of our veterinary students who has been instrumental to this piece of work. And I would welcome any feedback you have that could help us further improve dairy cattle welfare.